Hey filmmakers, Shungda here. Today we're going to talk about crop frame sensors. There's a lot of misconceptions about it. Uh, there are different crop frame sensors like a Super 35 or APS-C. You have also the Micro Four Thirds and the newest crop frame is the Blackmagic Cinema, which is one of the smaller crop frames. But you also have extreme small crop frames uh, or crop sensors like the one on your phone and on uh, compact cameras but mostly on uh, interchangeable lenses is more interested for filmmakers because you want to change the lens on your camera to able to get a certain depth of field or a certain focal length but uh, to get your focal length that you want there is also a limitation between them because there is only so much settings that you can change or a certain lens you can buy because the widest lens you could get is an 8mm and uh, for an extra wide lens uh, without getting any fish eye, that would be a 10mm. Uh, Canon has a 10mm 10x22 uh, at 3.5, 4.5. is an EFS lens, but it can actually also be used on a full frame if you remove the stop on the back. But Panasonic also have a very very wide angle lens, which is a 7 to 14 mm and you can use that lens uh, with any Micro Four Thirds mount camera. And uh, also, if you are using the Blackmagic Cinema or buy a Blackmagic Cinema, uh, it's advisable to buy a uh, one with the Micro Four Thirds mount, because the Canon mount you probably only could buy the widest be an eight. Or a 10 while the Panasonic with the Micro Four Thirds mount you have a 7 uh, at the moment I have on here the 10 uh, 22 on an APS-C or a Super 35 it's this wide and mainly uh, yeah for a lot of wide shots uh, this is a ultra wide lens and you can get a lot of nice uh, wide angle shots in very close areas uh, especially uh, using a crop frame you don't have the same or can't get sometimes as wide as you want because if you use this lens uh, on the full frame it would be even wider and you get even more in the shot. Uh, the great thing about using a full or using a very wide angle lens is that you can capture a lot of things without having to put the camera very far away and yeah for a lot of events it's a very great lens to use but also if you are in a very tight space or living like somewhere in Hong Kong and especially those apartments are really small so you don't have a lot of space to film in and a lot of places uh, like inside a toilet or inside an elevator it's very small so you want to sometimes have a wider shot or at least get everybody in the shot and uh, sometimes it's not possible because you're not wide enough but uh, I have to say crop frame sensors um, you have to say using a this lens on the Panasonic G6 and also um, yeah been working with the Blackmagic Cinema but I have to say the crop sensor on the Blackmagic Cinema is so far or so small that the lenses that you use on it is quite hard to use and um, yeah there are a lot of things a lot of people say yeah you can't get depth of field because the sensor is small it's not true you still are able to get depth of field in smaller sensors but it's not as extreme as using a full frame sensor but the depth of field is still there and still quite noticeable and using certain lenses uh, and especially very pricey lenses with f1.4 you can still see very nice depth of field but the main problem is the wide angle if I use this lens now here on a super 35 is this but we go to the next shot which will be on the Panasonic G6 okay we're now on the micro four thirds with the same lens the 1022 but now it's still a wide angle but it's not really uh, as wide as the previous shot because it now has a crop factor of 2 instead of crop factor 1.6 but the crop factor 2 is not that much 
but um, yeah, it's still quite usable and with a lot of lenses, yeah, times two is not a problem. Uh, especially if you are using a, uh, uh, you want to have depth of field, you probably want to use something like a 28 or a 35 f1.4 or 1.8. And those lenses you can still stand quite nice cl and close and without having to stand very far away. If you're using the 50 millimeters on this sensor, it will be so far, you have to stand so far away and yeah, it's or either stand close up and have just a very cropped uh, framing. But I uh, have to say, the next one is horrible because using the crop sensor on the Blackmagic Cinema is a lot of cropping and yeah let's go to it so we're now using the Blackmagic Cinema uh, sensor crop and uh, it's yeah you see it's even more tighter and um, the sensor or makes the same lens be around 24 28 depends on which factor or which version you you choose but um, for me this cropping is just too much uh, it crops it so far that this wide ultra wide becomes uh, just a normal wide angle and it's not even uh, a nice wide angle because it's just um, yeah it's just not wide enough for a lot of things you want to do uh, if you have a super 35 or a APS-C sensor and you have the kit lens of 1855 and you move it to 18 basically it's that uh, focal length and it's not extreme wide and while this 10 millimeter it should have been uh, be used for extreme wide it now becomes just a normal wide angle lens so the crop sensor on the Black, uh, Black Magic Cinema is not that nice. Uh, I have to say, uh, in Holland, it's okay because you do have the space for a lot of the shots, but uh, you will find that certain places you won't be able to get the shot because it's such a crop. But uh, you still be able to get the depth of field. I'm not saying you won't get the depth of field, but it's just the crop of it just uh, limits the wide angle and mainly uh, yeah tele shots be easy but yeah getting the actual wide angle you won't be able to get it and um, yeah for our filmmakers uh, you have certain times you want to have a wide angle uh, you probably want to also film everything with the same camera and not to suddenly turn to a GoPro with uh, the super wide angle but uh, yeah with the black magic cinema it just isn't wide enough and yeah it's just a bit of a problem if they have just uh, chosen a micro four third size sensor it's probably be nicer uh, a lot of people say like yeah uh, you can compare the black magic cinema with a 16 millimeter but you have to know back in the days with a 16mm a lot of those films have major budgets, major studios where they have the space to put the camera anywhere they want. They can even duck through the ground just to put the camera lower. But uh, nowadays for indie filmmakers you don't have the budget and you don't have the resources to be able to get that kind of shots. Uh, you probably be using your what you got. Uh, if you want to have a shot inside a toilet, probably with the Black Black Magic Cinema, you won't be able to get uh, that shot you want because the lens won't be wide enough for it. So that was mainly it. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.